Hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Yeah, today I'm out in Kimber Camp and I'm making a review of this uh, power machine. And the company Jaggery sent me this. It's a, a Explorer 1000 power station. And uh, uh, not only that, but they also sent me some uh, solar panels that I'll put up so you can see how they work. Um, so this is going to be a, a, a clean review video. Uh, because this uh, little beast is uh, worth a, a review for itself. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, first I'll say this will be a short video with the only list power station, but later this week there'll be uh, another video uh, from the Black Forest. I'm counting on that with the Viking uh, team there. So uh, you can look forward to that. But I think you should watch this video because. This machine is really awesome. Uh, yeah, I've been looking for such a machine, a power station, for a very long time. And when Jaggery uh, offered me this deal, and uh, you can see here, there is two solar panels coming with this, and and they call it Jaggery 1000 solar generator. And it's because these two panels, solar panels, can actually charge this. Uh, awesome power station so yeah hope you stay on and uh, in my video description you have uh, links for all uh, the places you can buy it on Amazon and to the website and uh, some of the technical specification that I'm going to uh, talk about some of you probably don't know what that means you can read that in the description and uh, some of the technical specification I don't know what it is so uh, those of you who are interested in that, go in and check their website and you can find all the information there. The company Jaggery uh, is an American company uh, located in the California. They started in uh, year 2012. In uh, 2015 the Explorer series was made, launched. In 2018 the Solar Saga series was launched. That's the solar panels and in 2020 the solar generator. Uh, the kit I'm having here. And uh, finally in uh, 2021 they came on the European market and that's cool because then I can use it. I know that uh, some of the power stations that are made in the USA that doesn't work here in the in the European countries. So finally I got one that I can use uh, all over. Uh, this power station weighs about 22 pounds, it's uh, approximately 10 kilos so you can easily carry it. Of course, it's not something you'll bring with you on your hikes, but when camping and uh, out here in Kimber Camp, this will be my uh, good companion uh, from now on. It produces 1000 watts, and that's a lot, and the capacity is uh, 1002 uh, WH. I'm not quite sure uh, what that means, but you can see here a uh, uh, drawing, you can see uh, how long it will last when you use these uh, appliances. Uh, and it's a quite a, a bit power this little uh, machine has. And here on this side you can see there's a flashlight. Yeah. You can see SOS in emergency situation or just ordinary flash. So hold in. I think it's cool. Yeah, and now to the features on this. <clears throat> you can see here there are two AC uh, outlets. You can use power tools and other stuff in these. Uh, and I'll tell you a bit about that later. You have to turn it on here. And then in the display you'll see how much uh, power it has. 96%. Over here I have a, a car that I can uh, use it. Uh, to charge things uh, that I usually do in my car. Uh, example, my uh, refrigerator I bring with me on my camping trips. I can uh, put it in here and it will power that uh, little um, refrigerator. Then it has two uh, USB-C ports and two uh, ordinary USB ports. And the one is a, a quick charger. And there are three ways you can uh, charge this power station. One, you can charge it uh, from the wall AC back home in here, and you can use the um, 12 volt car adapter so you can charge it from your car. 
and then finally uh, you can charge it uh, via the solar panels. This power station has large capacity and higher wattage. Uh, it has lithium battery capacity, uh, 1000 watts uh, rate power and 2000 watt surge power. And the surge power is some uh, electric appliance uh, need a little boost to start up. It could be a refrigerator or something. And then uh, this power station will uh, give that 2000 watts uh, for a few seconds so that the uh, machine or what you are connecting to this can start up. And that is awesome. It has proof MPPT technology, that means faster solar charging, and it can be fully recharged in eight hours. When the and these, as I said before, is input for the solar generator, and uh, I will put them up so you can see how they work. <coughs> this is the Jaggery Solar Saga 100. It has an output of 100 watts, 18 voltage. And, uh, and here in the back, there are two things. First of all, you can fold them out so the solar panels can stay on its own. Yeah. And in here, they are the extension uh, cordage so you can uh, reach the power station. And something that is really cool, uh, this little box, it has a USB-C and an ordinary USB port. And uh, if I put it in here, I can actually charge my iPhone with it. Yeah, it won't work now because there's no sun on it. But and when I put this up, I'll show you that it will charge this uh, iPhone. Very cool feature. But now I'm going to set it up so we can see how it looks. And uh, this little adapter, you can see I connect the cables from the power, the solar power. And I just put them here. Now when I have this set up out in Kimbercam, I'm completely uh, self-sufficient with power. It's awesome. It's clean power and uh, it is sustainable because these are just getting uh, the power from the sun. So it's so awesome. And for me, there's uh, four main uh, uh, reasons I would like to uh, have this uh, power station with solar panels. First, I can use it out here in Kimber Camp. When I'm making stuff out here, uh, I can break power tools with me and use them. Uh, second, and I think it's the most obvious reason, I'll take them with me on our camping trips to Norway and Sweden, so I could uh, charge my uh, drone, my phone, my computer and so on and use it also for my little refrigerator so I can keep my food cold and fresh. And besides that I also used it back home instead of taking an extension cord uh, from inside my house and out in my garden I used this, you can see here when I made my little uh, rounded uh, fire skillet I actually used this power station uh, to power the, uh, the grinder I used there. And uh, the fourth, but not least, in an emergency situation is that a power blackout. I can use this uh, for power in my home and it gives me a kind of security. I can watch TV still and uh, see if everything is going on out uh, in the area I am in. So this security for me, I have this in my uh, house and I can put uh, all kind of uh, stuff to this and uh, still be functional uh, almost in normal. So I'm very happy sure. and grateful that Jaggery uh, uh, was kind enough to send me this this Jaggery 1000 solar generator. Yeah. Now I'll show you uh, uh, when I'm charging my iPhone on the back of these solar panels. So now I've connected uh, this uh, cord from the solar panel and this is my iPhone. Now just see yeah, it's charging as you can see. So uh, this solar panel can charge my iPhone without any other uh, kind of power. 
this solar panel is uh, clean energy and sustainable and uh, if I bring one of these I can always keep my uh, phone charged also in emergency situations so yeah I think that's a cool feature so uh, this awesome power station with the solar panels I can definitely recommend that uh, I used it for a couple of weeks now and it's working perfect so go in check the link out and uh, see if there's something for you they have a smaller version too if you don't need uh, such much power but yeah for me it's a very uh, good solution and uh, again I'm grateful that Jaggery was sponsoring me this yeah uh, go in on the website uh, support them because they are supporting me now I have to finish my little job with my table there I have to grind it uh, finished